three in Texas. Tommy had never done that before. Ripken charging. And the throw beats Knobloch. Second consecutive tremendous defensive play by Cal Ripken Jr. I'll tell you, sometimes the managers are too cautious. you got to go for it when you can. And of course, you got a guy like Rivera. It's easy. Hard hit ball by Jeter. Could not be handled by Porter. So Jeter is on for the second time this afternoon. Ruled an infield hit. O'Neill on the first pitch, pops it up. Bordick moving to his right, two away. Pitcher's trying to throw a strike. There goes Jeter. Williams strikes out to end the inning. Fourth strikeout for Roberts. Seventh inning stretch time in Baltimore. 4 2 Yanks. Here are the seventh for the Orioles. A one two from Pettit. Peter could not get the glove down. Base hit left field. Second hit of the game for Jerry Hairston. Hinksell goes down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Seventh strikeout for Pettit. Big out ball game because of that. Runner goes. Bordick strikes out, and Hairston is in. With his sixth steal of the year. See real patterns and, and tend to believe these matchups. The Shields. It's a shallow right center. Soriano back pedaling. And that will do it for the Orioles in the seventh. Hairston stranded on second. Still 4 2 Yankees. In fact, his start last September against Oakland, Kevin, was the first of his major league career after 603 relief appearances. The most ever by a pitcher before making his first major league start. It broke the record held by the Yankees, Mike Stanton, who pitched <laughs> 552 times out of the bull. Facing Tito Martinez, who's 0 for 3, making 1 for 4, as he leads off the 8th with a single to left. Got him. Justice goes down on strikes. First strikeout for Chuck McElroy. Well, the sequence was good. It really fooled. Ball four, so Posada walks for the second time. And the Yankees have runners on first and second. Little is 30-year-old right-hander Jose Mercedes. Now, Kevin, this is the guy who's coming out of spring training, asked to not be the number three starter, superstitious. Anytime he was the third starter in Milwaukee or here in Baltimore, things did not work out. So Mike Hargrove put him in the number four slot. And now he finds himself pitching out of. Soriano into right. Richard retreating on the warning track. Makes the catch for the second out. Advancing to third is Tino Martinez. Well, and all three guys playing very well. Brocious base hit center field. Coming across is Tito Martinez. The Yankees lead is now 5-2. RBI number 16 for Brocious. Hey, you have a year like this, you can get you another three-year deal. <laughs> Paul strike three. Knobloch punched out, but the Yankees add a run. Uh, two hits and a walk, and now lead the Orioles 5-2. He has been outstanding in his eight appearances this season. Has allowed only two earned runs in 17 and one-third innings pitch. Well, normally with the Yankees the last two years, you expect Jeff Nelson to come in. CLA Bruins, Jim Drake, our producer. Did you know him? Bruins all over. <laughs> Conine called out on strikes. That's aggressive power pitching right there. Going with his best and nailing the look. Cal Ripken Jr. base hits his last two times up. This time on the first pitch from Bowringer flies out to Bernie Williams in center. Triple A one year, 1977. I believe Terry hit 31 home runs, got back up to the big leagues, and spent about nine, ten more years there. One, two, three, eight for Bowringer with two strikeouts as we move to the ninth. Orioles in days of old where they went from player development up to the big league. Ryan Kohlmeyer is one of them. He came the closer last season, pitching Rod right from the ballpark once in a while. I run into him. He's just a real gentleman, just a great guy. 
Peter goes down on strikes. Paul O'Neill pops it up. Bordick. Two away. In seven innings. Bernie with a drive to right center. But it stays in the ballpark. And Richard makes the catch. Bottom of the ninth, upcoming. 5-2 Yankees. It's Rivera time. One away. Good pitch. Got him. Fourth strikeout for Bowlinger. The 12th strikeout for the Yankee staff. Headed strikeout eight. Bowlinger into the Orioles. Soriano. Yankees take their third string. Four on third inning. Bollinger comes on, strikes out four in the eighth and ninth for his first career save. Yankees win it 5-2. Andy Pettit the win. He's now four and three. Willis Roberts suffers his first major league defeat. Roberts now four and one. Career save number one for Brian Bollinger. Our load from it, feet of the game. That's feet, F-E-A-T. <laughs> and Derek Jeter did it with his F-E-E-T, his second career steal of home. Yeah, Lunar thought it was a strike three, throw him out of second situation. It turns out it was ball four, but that doesn't stop Derek, Derek Jeter. Heads up, face running, steals home, gives the Yankees the edge. And I thought another key play, Jorge Posada, throwing out the runner at third base on a two-out double steal attempt to get petted out of an inning. Is inning number four, and a couple of good defensive plays like that, good threats of offensive play, good pitching, and you got Bollinger closing it, you got a Yankee win. Three in a row for the Yankees here in Baltimore. They win this afternoon's game 5-2. Join us next week on Fox Family for Baseball Thursday night. You'll see the Mariners at the Red Sox or the Marlins visiting the Dodgers. Check local listings. Next week on FX Baseball Saturday, the Mets and the Giants from San Francisco, game time for Eastern. One Pacific. Coming up next on FX, joined in progress, stopping the stalkers on both the East and the West Coast. For Kevin Kennedy and our entire crew, Kenny Albert saying so long from Camden Yards, you've been watching a special edition of FX Baseball Saturday.